Hi Pisces, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Pisces, this is one of their true intentions in love. Okay, so this is a reading for you and your person. And please feel free to switch the whole reading back and forth, round and round, vice versa, if you want. Okay, because it's a general read. All right, so let's get right into the reading for Pisces and their person. And from the Energy Oracle call deck, we have Angel of Balance and All Tied Up. Okay, so the Angel of Balance card can be, you know, somebody who kind of like temperance. Somebody who wants to create balance in their life and harmony. Maybe that is your, you know, excuse me, is your wish or your intent, right? Could be your person's maybe because it's, it's a reading for two people. Uh, and all tied up. And the lady actually is tied up. Yeah, it's a pretty lady standing by this bush. And kind of like the Eight of Swords where, you know, the woman's tied up. This woman's not wearing a blindfold. All tied up can mean many things. You could be all tied up emotionally. You could be tied up in a financial situation or tied up with a family or whatever that is, right? Okay. Your person could be tied up with, you know, the wrong people, maybe. <laughs> but hopefully not. So let's get into the reading here. And uh, it's typically about love, right? So we're not really going to talk about, like, yeah. So let's see what else we have. Love and it can be like anything that has to do with love, financial, family, anything like that, right? Because those are also parts of a union sometimes. Let's show me the energy for Pisces and their person, please. And we have the needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. Okay, good for you, Pisces. Okay. Hopefully that's for you, that card. And the bow, you are highly thought of. Okay. So this could be your person or your energy. And that's kind of, you know, where I have to be so kind of on the fine line, all right? Because somebody will send me kind of a, a word there that, uh, you know, if they don't like the reading, right? I kind of understand, but, you know, or if it looks like things aren't going their way in the reading. Yeah, people get mad, right? And we're all human, right? But let's see what we have. So these cards could be, you know, one of these cards, yours, three or theirs, etc. Any any combo. Show me the energy for Pisces, please. And these cards are going to be your yours, Pisces. We're not going to negotiate that or uh, debate that. Show me Pisces is Pisces energy. These cards are like little pieces of wood. <laughs> Show me the energy uh, for Pisces, please. Knight of Wands. You're currently in the Seven of Pentacles energy. This can be, I'm trying to figure things out, maybe financially, right? You're trying to figure out how to, for me, the Seven of Pentacles is like, I'm trying to, like, work things out for myself, and I'm kind of, you know, I want things to go well for me, but I need to look at all the details. That's what the man's doing, is looking at each pentacle, right? So it can be about money. It can be about, you know, how, how your harvest, how, how can you reap a good harvest, Sometimes it could be waiting to see how things pan out. The Three of Swords is your block. What you want here or hope for is the Four of Pentacles. You look like you're trying to hope on, hold on to money or someone. Let's move these cards over. And your fear. Two of Wands. So you're either afraid to make a choice here or you're afraid somebody else is making a choice. Maybe it's the same person you're trying to hold on to here. Because, Pisces, the block is a three of swords. That's not a joke for a block, right? No. Or a challenge, maybe. Your person's energy in the recent past is the four of wands. Your current, Their current energy is the hierophant or the hierophant. Mm -hmm. It could be a marriage when it's next to the four of wands. And the hierophant sometimes is a teacher, right? Originally, the Pope was known to be... Uh, wise and good, uh, not these days, uh, but let's see, <laughs> the devil is uh, in the block for your person, it could be a Capricorn here, they, they could, maybe they're Taurus over here, what your person wants is the ace of wands, and what they fear or desire is the seven of swords, so you could, maybe you want somebody here, this reading could just be about you and your person, but, you know, with the Three of Swords and the Devil kind of blocking you and your person respectively, right? Yeah, I feel like this is a third party. Your person wants a new beginning, and you want to hold on. 
Maybe you, maybe you guys both want to hold each other. Maybe, because there could be a third party here that is over, possibly. Let's do the reading to find out. Somebody's getting their wish over here, and somebody is highly thought of. Why they have this silly ponytail here is kind of ridiculous to me. Uh, uh, the bow, I mean. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Just laughing at that, you know. I like this author, and I like her cards, but this bow card is kind of like, I mean, why is a bow highly thought of? Maybe in an Asian culture, because that girl here, she looks like she could be Asian from the back. Maybe, huh? Okay. So let's look at the Knight of Wands, your energy Pisces with the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups. So you could be taking action maybe uh, to reunite with somebody. See what I mean? I feel like there's a third party here all day long. We just started the reading. You could be wanting to hold on to somebody from the past or your person does. Why is the Seven of Pentacles there? Nine of Wands. No, I feel like it's your person because you're wounded here. Right next to the Three of Swords. This is your energy, Pisces. I feel like you want to hold on to your person. And they want a passionate new beginning over here with somebody. I feel like you need to look at Virgo's reading. I haven't seen Virgo here yet, but this kind of looks like Virgo's reading as well. But let's find out. Let's not jump the gun. Yeah, I don't want to jump the gun, you guys. Mm -hmm. Three of Swords showing up in the block for you, Pisces. Let's have a look at that. I feel like you're wounded here. Like you've already been through a whole bunch of drama in this relationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's not good drama. I mean, is drama ever good? No, not really. It's really not. Unless you're watching a movie. Chariot card. The block here. I feel like your person, if this is blocking you, three of swords, chariot, your person wants victory with a third party. Maybe with a Cancerian. The Knight of Pentacles. Here we go. Your person is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn in the block. Or they have one. What you want for Pentacles, Nine of Swords. See, you're worried here. You are so worried. You're trying to hold on to your person here, Pisces. You're trying to figure out here if they're going to uh, get back together with somebody from the past. Nobody's going to be in the Nine of Swords energy and the Nine of Wands energy. There's no way. Unless you thinking that they're doing that. And what you fear is the Two of Wands. You're all tied up. I feel like you're all tied up with this person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to create some balance for yourself. But maybe this is temperance either. Maybe. But I, it could be. I'm just I, Virgo. It looks like Virgo's reading a little bit. Even though we don't have their energy here in its entirety. Uh, and there was this, I feel like there was a Sagittarian in that reading, but that's just for some, right? And Eight of Swords. You're afraid here. Here's more really challenging energy that is not positive. You're afraid here. Your person's like walking away or at a crossroads about you and them, about you and somebody else. Their energy is the Four of Wands and the Page of Swords. Here they are in the recent past thinking about their marriage or their union or mm -hmm, or their commitment. Emperor. They could be Aries, but I feel like they were thinking about details uh, in the situation. The details regarding this moving forward with somebody or making a choice between two. I feel like, why is the Emperor there? Queen of Pentacles, that's what I mean. I feel like they're Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And the Eight of... I beg your pardon, you guys. Six of Pentacles with the Hierophant is their current energy. This can be balanced sometimes. A man's holding the scales. He's also giving you two people here. Eight of Wands. Your person's in this energy about change. I feel like they're... I feel like they are in reflection here. Mm -hmm. about change they could be looking for the details that's kind of what the page of swords does he looks for the details right he needs more insight sometimes it is about details of course right you know I mean isn't that really what insight is about I mean it can't be the big picture but I feel like you guys are following me 
in the block for your person, Pisces. The devil and the five of swords. King of Wands. Yeah, there could be a Sagittarian here for sure. Aries showing up here in this reading. Could even be a Leo. I feel like your person has fear here. The block for them, and in their fear is the Seven of Swords. Your person... They could be fearing despair, but that's, that's not it. I feel like your person is fearing defeat from this other person. Yeah, the Ace of Wands is what they want, and the Ace of Pentacles. They want a brand new beginning twice here. Solid, passionate, yeah, they do. Sorry, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Why is the Ace of Pentacles there? Two of Pentacles. Here they are in their desire or their hope. I feel like your person's hoping that they're going to have some new beginning here with somebody, and the fear is the Seven of Swords. Two of cups. They're afraid of, of their own sneaky energy, or they're afraid to create a plan. I don't feel like, uh, maybe, but I feel like they're afraid of their own sneaky energy. Because in the block is the devil and the five of swords. Your person could be wanting to return to somebody here, and they did some mean things to somebody. Maybe they played mind games. Maybe they were just flat out mean. This guy's a mean guy. Right? Four of Swords. I feel like your person's afraid they can't heal the situation with somebody. We're going to find out all about them, Pisces. In the extended, they're all super affordable. And we're going to find out how your person feels and how they are seeing the situation. What's most important to them, like fundamentally, what they feel like is blocking them, what they're hiding, or what you don't know, and their true intentions. Thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.